Since the emergence of capitalism, our society has been organized around a single priority. Economy, production, consumption, efficiency, profit, propaganda. Yet what should be at the center of human existence, life itself, has been pushed aside. To put life at the center is to ask a radical question. What if all human activity were guided to ensure the best conditions for living, not just survival, but the good life as indigenous peoples call it? A holistic vision of life, human development, and collective well-being. For centuries, we have accepted scarcity as natural. We have embraced the so-called struggle for existence. We have justified fear, competition, and exploitation using Darwin's natural selection and the idea of the survival of the fittest. But these ideas are myths which are very harmful when applied as laws for society. They prioritize hierarchy over cooperation. They place self-interest above the flourishing of life itself. Imagine a world where these myths are dismantled, where life is empowered, trust is restored, collective well-being comes first. We would think more collectively, build horizontal cooperative communities. Hierarchies would no longer dominate. They are products of scarcity, not necessity. Our relationship with nature must also change. No longer appropriation and exploitation, but subject to subject respect. Humans are not separate from life's flow. They are part of it. True environmental sustainability comes from recognizing this indivisible connection. Does this mean rejecting progress? Quite the opposite. Life itself carries its own form of progress. True progress is measured not by profit, but by the thriving of societies, ecosystems, and living beings. Our science, education, and culture are steeped in ideology. Market logic drives decisions, not life's logic. It is time to replace destructive ideas with healing ones. To focus on health, individual, collective, and environmental. To foster cooperation, mutual aid, and holistic flourishing. To put life at the center is to embrace a new paradigm for society. A paradigm where humanity and nature are indivisible. Where every individual, every organism, and every ecosystem play a vital role in the living system. Some may call this utopia, but history shows that ideals become reality when life itself demands it. This is the path, the struggle, the awakening, to restore life at the center of our existence.